Welcome back to my channel and to a brand new Fallout 76 video. So, in this video I will be telling you everything you need to know about the lever action rifle in Fallout 76 as of 2021. So before we start, make sure that you sub with the notification on to never miss a video from now on. And without further ado, let us start this video. So the lever action rifle was much more common back before the Wastelanders DLC. Back in the day, I used to get this weapon every now and then from enemies, from some of the quests. Basically, it used to be much more common than it is now. A few days ago, I was looking in the wiki, trying to find a new video idea, and I saw this weapon. And I actually remember that this weapon even existed. I haven't seen this weapon for like a year or so. It's so rare if you don't know how to farm it, it's ridiculous. But if you know how to farm it, you could obtain it pretty easily. So obtaining the gun itself is pretty hard. So according to the wiki here in the abandoned waste dump, as you can see it's here on the map, a few death claws spawn around there and they have a really high chance of dropping this weapon when you kill them. Although I've hit this place a few times and I didn't get it, according to the wiki, the drop chance of this weapon is extremely high there, so that's up to you. Also, you could get this weapon from government supply drops, it has a decent chance of being in one of those. Although if you want to obtain the plans while you're farming it, you have a long way ahead of you. I've been doing these quests for like two years and I haven't got this plan, so it's up to you. For obtaining the plan via killing monsters and events, you want to kill boss monsters like Fog Crawler, Grafton Beast, Death Claws, Behemothes, Sheep Squatches, and basically all of the boss monsters in the Savage Divide area. You could farm the treasure maps in the Savage Divide area. They have a decent chance of dropping this weapon. It's not that high, but it's higher than whatever we have on the list if you want to obtain it that way. It could randomly spawn in the Savage Divide area. The chances are extremely low and this is about how you could obtain it if you're gonna farm it that way although in my opinion the best way of obtaining it is by purchasing it because a few of the vendors in Fallout 76 sell this weapon it's not just one there are a few of them so it's up to you whoever you want to buy this plant from first of all the Louisburg station as you can see down here on the map the vendor bought there has a guaranteed one in his inventory next the vault station the vendor bot there also has a guaranteed one in his inventory. The vendor bot Chad in the Camden Park, he has a guaranteed one in his inventory. Although you want to keep in mind, the area around the Camden Park and the vendor bot Chad is filled with scorched and enemies so you have to fight your way through them if you want to obtain it that way. In my opinion, the easiest way of purchasing it is with fast traveling to White Spring Resorts and here you want to follow where I'm going. Down here, the first shop, the responder's shop, this guy, he sells it. As you could see, the lever gun, keep in mind, the plan for this gun is just called lever gun, so don't mistake it for something else. So you know, it's not that expensive, you can just grind caps for a day or two and just easily purchase this weapon, no sweat. Now let's talk about the mods for this gun. So as you can see, this gun has 34 mods which 33 of them are loose mods meaning that you could get them by scrapping this weapon over and over you could find them randomly in the world purchase them from vendors randomly they're just easy to obtain in my opinion just scrap the weapon over and over as you can see i scrapped this weapon over and over until i got all of the mods there's only one special mod for this gun which is which is the prime receiver which just like every other weapon the only way that you could obtain the prime receiver is by killing the scorched queen and by killing it I mean shooting the last shot at the Scorch Queen, then you will have a chance to randomly obtain a Prime Receiver, which could be from anything, from a Pipe Pistol, all the way up to 50 cal. so it's just you and your luck. But every other mod that this gun has is extremely easy to obtain their loose mods, no hassle to obtain them. So yeah guys, that'll be it for this video, if you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comment section, or join my Discord server, link in the description, and I will catch you on our next video, take care.